Okay, so we're going to jump straight into the Olympus Viewer software. And once you've installed it, it generally looks like this. Okay, so let's go through some of the menus quickly. You've got your file here, your normal menu options. And what I would say is you need to go to tools options to set up a few things here. You need to, under advanced settings, go and click always display images at the highest quality you want to get a real impact for that and then you want to be able to go into basics and just make sure i'm in expert mode um maybe it's because i've just got a bit bit of an ego i don't know i doubt it anyway you want to have an import library and per shoot you want to import it to a specific location you want to display raw and jpeg together and you want to show raw for the raw and jpeg and then start up once you put your memory card in you want it to automatically open and display the transfer window and then you can go through and just change all the little settings here that might make you more comfortable with the program okay so this is the library view that you're going to see when you start up and then, and then you've got your import you've got your export slideshow map you've got your light box which is a comparative tool You've got your raw, you've got your panoramic time lapse, print, share. What's really cool about the share is you can go Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, email. Awesome. You've got your selection box, other group A, group B, editing tool and properties. I don't like this view. I go into folder mode. I should really turn those auto messages off, but I keep on forgetting. I go into folder mode and you can see you can go and select the folder where you put your images. And what I do is I do import now all my images into Olympus first okay so I import it with Olympus um, I'll just call it continuity and consistency I don't know and um, but anyway so you want to import it through here okay and then you're going to see all your images this is a wedding we shot um, and this is the first wedding that I actually shot with the, all the Olympus settings on default just playing with my white balance if I needed to so you know this is a perfect example so you've got all your settings up here and you can play with them and down the bottom here delete it rotate it select favorite add a color to, um color rating to your photo and select a group a or b this is just how you sort them and what i generally do is i go through and i'll star them as my favorites and then export them from there once i've just gone through everything with edit editing tool so if you double click on the image, it brings up the image in its full glory. And you can see it takes a bit of time. It's working. And you'll see it comes up nice and sharp and then reduces the noise. And this is taking all the information that it has and saying, okay, this is what it actually looks like. Which is phenomenal. Love it. Okay. But you've got to be a little bit patient with the program. It is a downfall. It is a bit slow. But with speed comes quality. Uh, with patience comes quality and <laughs> speed <laughs> too much haste makes waste anyway so you can go back and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through this one of these images I really love I'm going to look at let's have a look at this one open it and now we're shooting at a really low ISO on this a really high ISO sorry and look at the properties and I wouldn't she wouldn't I say that's not bad okay but you can see let's just check sharpness come into the R uh, I was a bit off there was a bit of movement there so I don't want that photo I want a nice sharp photo let's have a look should be nice and crisp let's check 1250 ISO on any normal day but you can see now it's rendered and it actually looks damn good let's check its sharpness oh wow look at that lips nice and crisp let's check if I made sure my oh there we go that's what this is the image I want 
and cares give you a good example so I like the color of this image I really don't have a problem with a bit of a warmer tone it really looks good nice lighting no blown out shadows really nothing I have to do to it okay but if you wanted to you go click edit mode you can see your histogram and you've got two you've got two tabs you can see oh, this is not much yeah. but wait I did customize my palette so I went in there and selected only what I wanted it to show me so you can go in and select more and there's a whole span that you can really do there and generally I don't play with this too much in my raw tab you'll see I've also customized and I've removed all the unnecessary stuff that I don't use okay and I'll show you why I don't use it okay we'll go down here I use picture a lot and we're gonna go into make sure it's natural okay and then white balance I'm actually gonna I'm going to show you something I'm gonna set it to auto yeah, it's not too bad That's a natural tone. but uh, this is to show you a point so I'm gonna leave it at that okay now the best thing to do is actually leave everything you set your cut color your picture mode to natural and make sure it's on natural and then you'll be able to move your crop a little bit okay well it's actually a nicer crop that so all I've done is change my white balance and now you go into file okay so what you're going to do is usually we're going to just change this picture mode and save it as that I'm setting a white balance to show you an example but I generally unless it's really badly out I'll then play with it in Olympus software here before I go to Lightroom so you want to save your batch processing file so you can see I've saved a couple already this is where you save it to your file destination you give it a name and then you can see it's got crop active the raw white balance active and in raw picture mode active so whatever changes you make you can create actions almost on the system so you know there we go click save done okay so I'm happy with that what I'm going to do is I'm now going to export it so I'm going to go export it's going to put me a TIFF file set it to TIFF file 16 bit leave it at that I leave my crop using my aspect ratio I like that aspect ratio and once I've established everything it's all cropped already before it goes out so I leave it as that and in resolution 800 okay and then export by batch processing and you'll see a little window come up click on processing and show it's busy exporting the file it takes a bit of time trust me when you're doing 200 images it takes a bit longer but anyway there we go done stop close and it's ready to go so now what I want to show you I'm going to go out of here close this off let's quickly shoot to the files and bear with me here oh, why am I getting lost going to July no. now let's find that image quickly And there we go there is my image in raw standard raw image just on 15 megabytes standard out of the camera okay now this is the TIFF file right here now you can see whoa it's now 81 meg so it's crammed all the information from that sensor into this TIFF file and giving you a 16 bit TIFF file with all the information it can do and it dramatically increases the file size but it's high quality and that's a big plus so now let's go over to Lightroom here and I want to get out of that I need to import that TIFF file that I just took and we're going to go there and you'll see it will come up there we go I'm going to import it Okay, so we're going to Lightroom and we're going to find this image now. Okay. I should have actually got its name right. But I don't know which one it is. There we go. Okay. I'll check 147. 
Huh. Okay, you can see I've actually already retouched this image. But anyway, we're going to go there. That is the raw file. And I am going to reset this raw file to exactly the way it came off camera. So now everything's reset. And that is the TIFF file. So now we want to compare the two, right? There we go, library mode. Compare those two files. Raw file, TIFF file. Okay, so what we did in this one is we actually set it to auto white balance. Oh my word. Okay, that just sorry, that just scared me. It's just really gone blue. The skin tones, I'm not really liking it. She looks anemic. But the point, what I'm trying to show you is we've set auto on Lightroom, auto white balance you'd think it would be the same. It should be the same as Olympus. Yeah, no ways. There's the TIFF file, an auto white balance that we set through Olympus. And you can see already, it's kept the tones neutral. This is what I'm saying. Lightroom just it doesn't really grasp the concept. Let's take this a bit further now. Let's compare these two images. And we love the lips. We absolutely love the lips. Okay, now for me, you can see obviously the different white tones, the white balances, but for me, there's you can see the noise. And I mean, we were shooting at 1250 ISO, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's double check 1250 ISO. Okay, large room, there's noise, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. But this is already being compensated by Lightroom. This is now the TIFF file, and you can see there's nice crisp details. The noise is minimal. It really is, especially when you start going into the shadows. Look at that sharpness difference. Look at this. It, it's sharp, but it's not crisp. Here, yeah, look at this eyelash. These are crisp. Tones are controlled. Tones are contained noise is reduced it's, it's it's really dealt with well so this is how you're going to get the most out of your camera and what i can show you as well we're going to develop it on and let's start with this is the lightroom image and this is how lightroom has dealt with the noise that is the raw image okay that's with no settings this is the way Lightroom sees the image. But the minute you import it, it will standardly do this. So it will do 25 sharpening, one radius, 25 detail, and everything else off. Okay. And you see there's noise. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, it might look horrid there, but remember we zoomed it at like way into the image so you're seeing a lot of noise but Lightroom automatically makes these adjustments and cannot make the same adjustments and keep their clarity as the Olympus does so I've waffled on enough I hope this has been helpful I hope you have seen the power that is 